Welcome to my latest Horus Heresy Battle Report. In this one, we're going right back to the very start of the heresy where the dividing lines were less clear. Because we have Loyalist Death Guard versus Traitor, Sons of Horus. So today we're playing a 3,000 point game called War of Lies, which is essentially a kill mission. You get a point for everything you kill, and at the end of the game, which is six turns long, you also get points if you're on these objectives here. There's five objectives, but in this War of Lies, they could be worth zero points, one point, or three points. And honestly, in War of Lies, the number of times I've actually played it and had nothing on the objectives at the end, um, it's just come down to the killing of the things, which is what we like, because it's traitors versus loyalists. It's my loyalist death guard against some scummy sons of Horus. Shoutouts, the battle mat is from P-Work War Games, and all this pre-painted lovely scenery that you see all over the place is from urbanmats.com, with the exception of the statues and the bunkers and these, these are all from marchofwar.co.uk. Talking about shout outs, this is Sean from Rift Forge Studios. Say hi, Sean from Rift Forge Studios. Hello, I'm Sean from Rift Forge Studios. Nice. Tell people about Rift Forge Studios. Uh, so we're also a bat rep channel, just a, a lot smaller. Uh, but we do Horus Heresy bat reps. Uh, we do a few painting videos and some uh, rule videos as well. Uh, we're basically a group of friends uh, that just come together and we produce content for everyone because uh, we enjoy it. You say smaller, but your videos have got thousands of views. Yeah, some of them have done all right. We're very proud of those ones. Yeah. Uh, so we've also got um, two members, a part of the uh, Attrition Gaming uh, events. Okay. Uh, they are based down in Southampton and they do horror series events. So just look them up on Facebook if you're based down that way and have a fancy year. So Rift Force Studios on YouTube, yep. Attrition Gaming on Facebook, if you're interested in down south heresy things yeah nice and you brought along three thousand points exactly on the nose of gorgeous sons of horus today uh this is very very infantry heavy remind people what sons of horus do so sons of horus uh, special rule is minus one strength to melee attacks coming at them yeah in the first round of combat whether they charge or have been charged yeah uh, you used to be able to switch it off with uh, making them disordered but that got FAQ, thankfully. Okay. Uh, and the unique reaction is within 12 inches, they get to shoot back at plus one BS. So it'll be BS5. It's back. not a great reaction, is it? It's hard to get off because you need to get close. Yeah. People are aware, so they probably won't shoot you. Okay. And you brought some demons along with you today. Yes. Some so. demons. And this is your warlord and Esoterrorist? Yes, Esoterrorist, which unlocks those demons. Right. And he's taking the warlord traits chosen by the dark gods which i thought was quite fitting yes uh, and that is it's a little bit random so on a one uh, he loses a wound on a two to five he gets plus one toughness and strength and on a six he gets that plus a wound back you can get wounds you can lose wounds you can get a bit tougher <laughs> as he's praying to the light dark gods it gives you an additional reaction in what phase as well Oh, I cannot remember. I have to look that Brilliant. up. Brilliant. Like, no, <laughs> <laughs> because there's reactions. Reactions in movement phase, shooting phase, assault phases, things like that yeah. uh, in Horus Heresy, which are basically like stratagems in 40k, but everyone's got the same stuff. Okay, so he's coming along. He's bringing along a unit of demons. Tell people what these demons do, because they're scary AF. So these are demon brutes. They are as scary as they look. <laughs> they're very fast with move, movement eight. Uh, they've also got heedless slaughter. It's just the, the dominion that demons can take instead of legion traits you get that. Yep. Uh, they get plus one to their charge rolls because uh, they're basically the corn ones, but you don't know the gods yet. Uh, so they get into combat quicker. Uh, they hit, uh, well, win combat a little bit easier with plus one to the combat res and plus one to sweeping advances. Nice. And they're brutal two? Brutal two and a six, they go AP two. Uh, they're AP three naturally. Right. They're strength five and toughness five. Three wounds, three attacks. With the demon rules, they'll be toughness five and six. Uh, strength five, six and toughness five on the first two turns. Brilliant. Uh, but obviously, uh, later on in the game, they're gonna lose that and we can minus if they're still alive. Then. Long story short, higher initiative than a space marine, faster than a space marine, will cut through normal tacticals like a hot knife through butter and can even put some pain down 
on Terminators. Yes, and, and sometimes then, drag a dreadnought down. Wow. And this guy moves forward, and then he summons them in, and there's potential first time charges as well. Yeah, they can be catapulted up. Brilliant. What else you got in your army? So right next to the ESO terrace, yes. we've got my other HQ, which is a master of signal. Right. Uh, he's just stock, nothing special about him. Okay. And he will be accompanying uh, some auto cannons. Okay. So I've just got an auger scanner in case there's night fighting, so yep. they can uh, shoot the whole way. And that means these auto cannons will be hitting on twos, and I won't be able to shroud against them. Yes. You've got master of signals in there. Brilliant. What else have we got? Uh, for the troops, we've packed out uh, all six troops. Slots. We've got I two despoiler squads, fifteen man strong. They're Boom. identical. Boom. With a power fist and sergeant, yep. a vexilla, yep. and then three power axes. As nice. Well. Uh, and then we've got two fifteen man tacticals. Yes. We've got one with a lightning claw sergeant, one with a power sword sergeant, and okay. two vexillas as well. Okay. The other two troops, we've got a plasma squad just behind them. Yep. Uh, there's an augury scanner in case we need to do any intercepting, and then that's it for them upgrades. And then we've got Volkite Calivers, which is a bit of the, the middle Volkite one. Yeah. Uh, they got the same with the Augury Scanner as well. Strength six, three shots at long range, but they are heavy. Yes, so don't yes. try and stay still if we So can. essentially, there's six troops there, but this one, this one, this one, this one, the front uh, many score. They're all line. Yeah, the They're the ones, score. the big blobs are the ones that are going to be scoring the objectives if they're alive at the end of the game. Um, who's this unit down here? So we've got some Seekers. Yes. Uh, They've just got an Augury Scanner again for any interceptor. That's the only upgrades. They've just got their Kraken bolt uh, ammunition. Brilliant. And the Seekers is, hit on twos. They've yeah, got Precision the Fire 4 up. Yeah. They're um, uh, recon they, support, essentially, ranging ahead of the force. Yeah, they can infiltrate as well, so they can get forward and uh, deny people early on. Nice. And then you've got a scary amount of anti-tank in your list because there's three Sky Hunters with multi melters. Yeah. There's a Contemptor with Lance Cannons. Yeah. You've got multi melters on the saber attack tanks over here is that a squadron it is yeah that's a squadron but no extra missiles no they no. are there but just pretend they've been fired already yeah the missiles <laughs> have been fired already so you're terrified of the weapon destroyed result and then you've got a big nasty 400 point kratos with all the anti-tank yes so that's got a flare shield on as well it has so it's armor 15 on the front brilliant and then the melter gun is armor bane at 18 inch yeah, range. Yeah, so it's 36 inch range. Yeah. Uh, strength 8, four shots. Obviously, it can become twin linked with that water cannon if it scores a hit. And then the four last cannons. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, a scary amount of anti tank. You've actually got quite a bit of punch with the brutes running all the way forward. And talking about redundancy in bodies, you've got redundancy and bodies for days. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of Sons of Horus that are going to die in the making of this battle report. Let's go and check out the Death Guard. And this is 2997 of Death Guard. I've got a Volkite Serpentor on my Praetor, so I couldn't get it up to 3,000 points. Gloriously painted to level 4, standard by Den of Imagination Painting Studios. All these uh, gorgeous bases are also from Den of Imagination as well. So thank you very much, Den. Um, you may have seen this list or a similar list on the channel before, but essentially, my Warlord, no, the Army Special Rule is Remorseless. And the right of war I'm bringing is called the Reaping. Sons of Horus not bringing a right of war today, just bringing the pain. Remorseless, the Reaping. What does all that mean? Well, it means that I can never run and I can never make movement phase reactions, which is tough. Uh, there's going to be very little movement-based warfare going on here and responding to anything that the Sons of Horus do. I have to do it all in my movement phase no reacting to any of that sort of shenanigans. But what I get as a bonus is I'm never slowed by terrain. I always count as stationary when I fire my guns. And with the right of war, these two heavy slots here count as troops. And there are two five-man plasma teams with the Voxes to help me reroll scatter. And in here, you haven't got any artificer armor in your entire army. No, apart from on the Centurion characters, obviously. Yeah. So, but I, the only artificer in my army is on these two sergeants here because I figure if they're logging around plasma weaponry all their life, then they'd work very, very carefully on their armor. So I've got some artificer in there. Um, and then... I, my Warlord is a Stoic Defender. I'm a Loyalist. He's a Stoic Defender. I can't make any reactions in the movement phase. So two reactions in the shooting phase might really help me. And it gives him and the unit that he joins pinning as well. 
Uh, he's got a Paragon Blade, a Volkite Serpenta. He's going to be running around with a Chaplain, and they're going to jump in a unit of 10 Grave Warden Terminators. Grave Warden Terminators, not very good in close combat, which is why Chaplain. When you charge them, you always count as Disordered, and they have a natural 6-up Shrouding as well. So they'll be running around with them, and you've got four scoring units. I've got one, two, three scoring units. Three squads of Breachers here. Uh, the only upgrades are... Oh, the other thing my Rite of War does is you can get rag grenades. So I put a rag grenade on my Praetor. And then in the three Breacher squads, the characters in there have got rag grenades as well, which is minus one strength in the first round of combat. And apart from the rag grenades and the Nuncio Voxes, no other upgrades, no Artificer Armour, nothing on the Sergeants, just guns. Volkite Chargers on the Breacher team, on the Breacher team, and then Bolters on this team back here. Uh, so Nuncio Vox is on them, Nuncio Vox is on them. The reason why is that helps you reroll scatter because Plasma is going to be scattering. Two Scorpiuses are going to be shooting up and over. They're going to be scattering. And we've got the big, the nasty Typhon with a Dread Hammer Siege Cannon. Now, the thing is, the Kratos can do some serious work to the Typhon, but the Typhon can do some serious work to anything that's not a Kratos. <laughs> uh, the Dread Hammer Siege Cannon is brutal for and will absolutely hurt anything that it hits. Uh, the Scorpiuses can cause pinning as well. My main anti-tank is the two Leviathans running forward with Cyclonic Melter Lances and Melters in there. Melters all round over here. And then I've got a couple of Rapiers and they've got Fragmentation Rounds. So those are the Strength 5 Shredding Shots. And here we are after deployment, the Death Guard uh, deployed first and they're going first unless the Sons of Horus try and steal from me and being traitors. They like stealing. <laughs> so there might be a stealing of the initiative coming on. I'll put everything on the table except for two of the squads of breaches. I've just done normal reserve because one could walk on here. One could potentially walk on there and try and deny that. Plus I've only got three scoring units versus the Sons of Horus. Four scoring units and the Grave Warden Terminators with the Praetor, the Chaplain, the right in the center with the leviathans down here ready to come rocking up this side of the table and to give me something to think about you've stuck in some sneak seekers over here yes so they're out of line of sight so they will be able to go nine inches away from the typhon yes so it's a bit sneaky they're very danger close now if i have first turn i could pull back and drop a template on them but then that'll open up my side arc to a kratos down there because <laughs> staring down the uh, Typhon is the Kratos. Uh, after I put it here, and you put all, most of your army over here, now I wish it was over here. <laughs> that's the problem with deploying first, right? Yeah, that's the problem with deploying first, but at least it'll anchor this flank, hopefully, maybe. And then the Sons of Horus will put everything on the table except for the demons and a unit of bikers that are going to be deep striking in. We've got an auto cannon team up here, Seekers, Dreadnought, lots of infantry. Worried about blast markers? No. No? <laughs> Cover saves for days. Huh? Okay. <laughs> now, would you like this loyalist to go first, or do you do you approve of stealing? I approve of stealing. You approve of stealing? <laughs> so, uh, let's see if you roll a six. I've got my dice. Here we go. No. no, it is Death Guard, turn one. So the Death Guard start their long, relentless march up the centre of the battle grid, ready to bring the pressure down on the Sons of Horus. Both of the Leviathans stomping forward here. Plasma team are up there. The second, these Terminators are below though. I've put them up there because sticking my hand under there is a bit, and you can see them quite clearly. The Terminators pushing that way, Plasma team pushing this way, and I have opened up the side armor of the Typhon to return fire from the Kratos over there because these Seekers, these Seekers are right here. So let's drop a template on them and a Laz Cannon. The rogue Laz Cannon is gonna shoot. I mean, it's a flare shield on your Kratos. Do I really want to shoot the Kratos? Yeah, let's shoot the Kratos. Fire the last kind of the Kratos. Nothing happened. Here's the big template from the uh, Dread Hammer Siege Cannon. What a name. What a name. And that's a hit. I hit six of them. I wound five of them. And they need four six-up saves each because it's brutal oh, four. Yes. So as it's brutal four, it required four saves a time. And uh, yeah, I killed five of them in the end, which is good. That's a nice start. Uh, we've got some more shots. We're going to fire the Scorpiuses up and over, down into this mess over here. 
Trying to land there, but this is going to scatter full distance because I can't see anything. So it's going that way, nine. And it ends up there hitting three in the Volkart Cavalier squad and the second shot flips that way. In the end, hitting six of that squad up there and <laughs> uh, two full saves, one ruin save. So two normal armors. Yes. One dies. And five up. So two die. And then you take a pinning test from Rocket yeah. Barrage. Uh, leash at eight. And they're not pinned. And then six in the other squad. And that's a bit better. Four. These are going to be six up because they're not in a ruin. And they're full armor. Yes. So full armor. Two die. And then six is. And makes up. Okay. Yeah, so it's... three died in total in that squad. And a pinning test on that squad as well. Of course. They're leaving nine. They got the EC terrorist in. And, and they're not pinned either. Now let's do the rapiers firing up and over. Trying to land there. And this time I hit. And the next shot is a hit as well. With all those hits coming through, that is 15 hits. Um, these actually wound on threes, but they have shred. I need to do that one. And those are full armor saves. 14 armor saves. Yeah. Three ups. That only wipes out two, but causing some gaps in and amongst the Sons of Horus lines, and they still haven't reacted yet. And I've got my plasma team to fire, just this plasma team to fire, which would love to fire at your auto cannon team, but I'm worried about return fire. <laughs> so I don't think I'll fire at them. Well, let's get down and have a look and see if I can see another tactical squad, the ones down there. Turns out only two could tee this tactical squad down here, but we can all draw some line of sight through the ground floor in the windows there onto your tactical support squad with all your plasma. Yep. So you're shrouding this. Yes. It is the last shot. Plasma weaponry gets hot though. Here's the Sarge, here's the other ones. Brilliant. That means three of them are not firing. The Sergeant has got Artificer Armour. He built especially <laughs> for handling plasma and he's okay. He did a good job. Uh, we're okay. None of us died yet, but two shots will come in. Sticking it on the Sergeant's head there. We do have a Nuncio. Of, actually, wait, that hits. That's hit. The second shot. The second shot is going to... We'll re-roll that with the Vox. Two hits. I hit eight of them, wounding on twos, fours breach. So armor saves, three up, yeah. three fine, and then five sixes. Yeah. And then four uh, shoulders. Wow. So two die. With that, the guns of the Death Guard fall silent. That is the end of their shooting phase. We've got a bit of leadership to be done. Yeah, so the ESO terrorist despoiler squad took a bit of a beating. Yes. So it'd be a leadership you know off. What? It'd be horrifying if your Issa Terrace broke and fall off the table. Is there a Vexilla in the store? There is. So okay, it's not okay. Happen, it's not... It means he won't be able to summon. Right. Uh, so nine. He holds. Nine. He holds. And then leech of eight all the way over here for the Seekers for yes. taking a Typhon to the face. Um, uh, they're happy. Just... For some reason, they're <laughs> happy as we go into Sons of Horus turn one. In the Traitor's movement phase, a cautious advance around this flank to try and bring as many shots into the Leviathans as they can and maybe sow some murder down and amongst the uh, home objective for the Death Guard. You've got Contemptors and Sabres and Autocannons. Oh my, there's a lot of shots around this way. Where's the Easter Terrorist? He's over here. Right. Compared to Sling Shots and Demons. Okay. Forward. Down here behind a Kratos. Yeah, so hiding behind downside. the biggest tank he can find. Yes. Sounds like a traitor to me. <laughs> uh, the Seekers, however, which were down here, they've pulled to the left because there are windows in these ruins here. And as I said, the Death Shroud are below. So we're going to have some street fighting going from window to window. But we're going to open up the shooting phase with the big, the nasty, the Kratos, firing side shots into the Typhon, which really has to shroud. So starting off with the auto cannons. Yes. Freeze to hit. Yes. Both hit, so the main gun's twin linked. Yeah. So we're looking for sixes here for any rendon. There's so a rend. one, so that takes it up to 13. Yes. Which transpires to and a, that's pen. a pen. So that's a pen. A nice little shroud safe. Uh, yep, yeah. a five up on that. I shroud that, okay. And then four mounters. Yes. Not in mounter range. No. So the sixes to glance. No glances. And, and then, then it's the las cannons. Four las. Three of them hits. Looking for fives. With thunder. We have Just a one penetrating pen. hit. Can I shroud this one as well? Yes, yes I can. can. Some expert driving by the Typhon driver there, wiggling his tank around a little bit to avoid some of the firepower from the big, the nasty Kratos. And now we're moving on to the Seekers, firing across the street at the Grave Warden over here. You got four shots. Four shots. Hitting on twos, yes. one miss, no precision. Okay. 
and freeze to wound, uh, those two are breaching. Those two breach. Uh, I have four up because um, cataphracty save, and then they're always shrouded on a six. No, one of them takes a wound. One wound on the Grave Wardens for now, and now the Volkite team are plunging fire down into them. Six of them can see. So all the shots hitting on threes. So not too bad, only five misses, and we're wounded on twos because of strength six. We have 11 Terminator saves, and I make every single save. After the support team with the Volkite, we have the support team with the Plasma that got shelled last turn. There's eight of them that can draw a line of fire through the buildings yes. into Leviathan. So, Sergeant. <laughs> gets doesn't hot die. and He's, doesn't die. No, okay. And uh, Aubrey's kind of chap uh, doesn't get hot there. And the rest. Oh, a couple more getting hot. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, uh, one, one dies. Right, okay, brilliant. And we've got three hits. We're wounded on fives because your toughness big. So two, but they are breach. Uh, four's breach on plasma, right? So yeah. that's three breach. Uh, no, because it's to wound on fives. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. Not, so not two, red. five up in vulnerable saves, and the Leviathan takes a wound. It's down to six. You've started on it, though. Next to the Leviathan, his brother is going to get lit up by the auto cannon team. It looks like most of the shots are coming into the second Leviathan Dreadnought. You're hitting on twos, though. Yes, with the Master Signal. Yeah. So three misses, five to wound, six, six is rend. Rend. So there's two rends. Two rends. Two of each. Okay, so two, two up saves. Takes a wound, two, five up saves. Takes two wounds, it's on five remaining. Now the Sabres are firing in with their auto cannons. They're hitting on threes. Yep, these are twin link, though. Nice. And so they rend on fives, right? Yeah, so they're straight up fives. That's two. two more wounds, two more five up and vulnerable saves. No, it takes two more wounds, and you've got two multi multimotors on top. Chuck them in, they are now twin links. Yes. And then we know on four. Two more. Okay, two more five up and vulnerable saves. It's taken three wounds in total from the Sabre team. It's down to two remaining. Now, can the Contemptor Dreadnought finish it off? So, last can hit on twos. Oh. One of the messes, that's <laughs> another. Wounded on three. It wounds that. Wounds, five up and bun. Failed the five up and bun, it's on one wound I remaining. I shot the combi bolter. Just, okay. I'm fine, no, it can't wound. No, it can't it's wound, four. it's toughness eight, yeah. At this point, that's it for the shooting phase, except for the summoning from the Easter Terrorist. And you want to summon some demons here. Yes, so first of all, I need to do a psychic check. Okay. Which he passes just on a nine, so uh, this doesn't scatter and they'll get out from there. So the way this works is they move eight from that blast. Yeah. Demons. Demons have suddenly appeared in this battle grid. And then if you've got a shooting reaction, I can intercept. Yes. I've still got a shooting reaction. So intercept away. There's a lot of poison here. So two of the Grave Wardens can't see, but there's still a bajillion shots from their grenade launchers, which hit on threes. They're poisoned weaponry. So they wound on threes. So four up saves. Yes. How many wounds do they have each? Three. Three. Uh, that looks... Painful. Uh, what happened there? Poison weapons. Poison weapon. When the dust clears, there's only one demon remaining. Yeah. Yeah. Are you still going to charge? Because yeah. if I overwatch, I'm doing that all again. So with those shots from the Grave Warden Terminators, that is the end of the Sons of Horus turn one. This little demon is looking around to see where his buddies have got to. All of his buddies have been wiped out, so he's a bit discombobulated right now. Yes, he's not going to give away a point in his turn, so he's not going to charge. You you need me to... Yeah, I've got to get the points in my turn, yeah. not take points in your yeah. turn. I'm not going to help you. Stuff. Yeah, so we're going to go on to Death Guard turn two. I've got two units in reserve that could wander on. The guys with the bolters, the guys without the bolters. The guys without the bolters are wandering in as we go on to Death Guard turn two. So in the Death Guard movement phase, the Typhon and the Grave Warden Terminators move around here to try and deal with those demons and start putting some pressure on that Kratos. It's the only thing that the big can on the Typhos, Typhon, can hit right now. So uh, we've got to kind of try and keep it honest. It is a really big gun. I might weapon destroy something, you never know. Uh, the guns in the backfield staying still. The plasma's moving forward to get some more interesting line of fire up the table. While this Volkite team chills right behind all this terrain here. They're not scared. They're just standing firm, ready to move right or left. Depending if anything comes out on the right. 
or comes out on the left. Both of the Leviathans come bundling forward. The one on one wound, you reacted by moving forward or back somewhere? Uh, forward with the despoilers. The spoilers. Brave despoilers busting forward. And the Kratos moved back away from this one. Yeah, it doesn't like that. Doesn't like that one. That's a Leviathan right there on six wounds. As for my reserves, well, there is an objective in this street over here right next to all the Sons of Horus lines, and you have a lot of interceptor reactions. But I brought them on here anyway, because massive, large line of sight blocking in the way means they're not getting intercepted. And if I pull something round to this side of the... T I've got to do something about that objective. I've got to keep the Sons of Horus honest. I just can't give it straight to them. But there'll be no firepower coming from this way. Instead, we've got some shots from the Leviathan, some shots in the backfield... And we're going to start off with the Typhon Siege Tank dropping nukes on the Kratos. See if we hit. Um, that's going to hit. Strength 12 with Sunder and Ordnance means that's a pen. No, yeah, minus 2 to Strength because of Blast. So that's a glance. Yeah. Uh, okay. Because the Flare Shield. Here's the last cannons. They both hit. These are going to need sixes with a little bit of Sunder. I take two hard points off of it in total. It's down to three remaining. Right in front of the Typhon, all of the poison shots in the world are going to rain into that last demon here. Many dice rolls later, the Grave Warden Terminators have cleansed this battlefield of its demonic taint, melted it to slack. Now we're coming across the Leviathan Dreadnought. Through those windows there, there's a recon team with lots and lots of plasma. It's quite a nasty return fire. Are you going to return fire or are you going to... I'm going to save it. You're going to save, save it. it for later. He's saving it. He's saving it. Two's to hit you with Melter Fire, and I hit you four times, and two's to kill, but you do have a five up uh, ruin save, yep, so it's three, three. three of them, and you only two guys, that's good. Across to Leviathan number two on one wound remaining, I just measured in things, I am in 12 inch range of your Dreadnought, so I'm going to shoot you a Dreadnought, yep. and you are returning fire for this one. I am this one, yeah. The Leviathan's only on one wound remaining. So. Is he going to die in the crossfire? Because this one actually kill your contempt on. Just starting on him. Yes. Just oh. starting on him. Yeah. Three, uh, two's to hit him. Hit him four times. Three's uh, to wound. Three's to wound. I only wound him twice. So two five ups. Yes. He takes two, two wounds. So he's down four. He's down four. Started on him. Now last cannons. Here we go. Two last cannons back. Both of them hit. Twice. Uh, three's to wound. One of one. them wounds. So you're telling me there's a chance. A five up and my Leviathan's okay. When the Leviathan is not okay and blows up and there's no one in range to get hurt by that. And yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I feel like I need to start on the Dreadnought. I mean, I could have fired at the Sabres. The other thing I was trying to do is trying to draw out a return fire, trying to, because you've got one reaction in the shooting phase, right? Yeah. So now it stops any shrouds against Yeah. Us. And I've got all these plasmas lined up here. And they're looking at your big, nasty auto cannon team yes. here. <laughs> So let's fire it then. Sergeant gets hot. The other guys get hot. I fire all the guns this time. Trying to drop it there. The first shot, we're going to re-roll with the Vox. And that's oh. gone. That hits two in that squad there. Then we're going to do a lot of scattering off camera because this could go all over the place. In the end, 16 hits on your auto cannon teams. Two in this squad down here. That squad, one is breached, one is not breached. So a three up save and a six up because there's some stuff in the way. Uh, so I'll take... A six up cover, yes, and three up normal. Okay, and I'm within six inches of an objective, so I'll take half oh, yeah. damage, yeah, which doesn't help. Okay, so just one nuked in that squad, and then here's all the other ah, dice wounds coming into the other squad. Looking for twos, fours are nasty, and that completely balanced out the shots that I put in on the demons because <laughs> only three breaches there with the five up ruins, these are all full armor. So the three five up covers. Okay. Two die. Yes. And then seven. Another two for a total of four. So that's cut them down to six remaining with the master of signals. Now we're coming across here to plasma squad number two. Plunging fire down in the seekers over here. And we resolved the shooting attack. One of the plasma guys died to get hot. Plasma gun blew up in his face. But the remaining squad managed to clear away. These seekers. I think that's the first unit I've completely wiped out. Apart from the demons, they don't count. We're coming on to the Scorpiuses, the Scorpii, the Scorp. How do you say? What's the plural of Scorpiuses? Scorpiuses. 
Scorpio. It's got to be on it. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> They're going to fire down here because there's Vox on these plasma guys that can see this squad. And the first shot will actually scatter three inches because the Scorpios, they can't see it. That hits three. The second shot will hit four. And the wounding on twos, fours rend. So three cover saves, yes. sixes, they die. Three normal, one die, so it's four dead, and a pin in check. They're not pinned. They're brave little soldiers. Then I fired the rapier battery up and over as well, killed a couple more. And that is the end of my shooting phase. So I've wiped out a complete seeker team and wiped out my own Leviathan Dreadnought. But I've injured. I've injured the uh, Contempt of Dreadnought as well and sown some murder in amongst the Sons of Horus line, so much so that there's a couple of leadership tests to make. There is. So we'll do the first one on the Despoiler Squad. Yes. Like some rocket barrage. Leadership 8, they're fine. Yeah, fine. And then leadership 9 up here, because uh, Master Signal. And of course... Of course the Master back. Signals <laughs> breaks. The first unit to break Two inches. is the unit that you didn't want to break. They're going to fall back. In turn 2, they get to regroup, though. So let's roll to see if they regroup at the Straight start of turn two anyway. They which they'll regroup. And they shuffle back into the positions. Yeah, yeah. And you've got some reserves. You've got some bikers that could zip in into. Yeah, they're going to try a little deep strike. Okay. So we're going to be free up to bring them in. That's no, cool. they're staying off for a turn. The bikers are delayed as they're zipping through the city streets, through the ruins, maybe ambushed by some sneaky death guard in the background. Here we are after the Sons of Horus movement phase, moving around to respond to the Death Guard aggression. What's the thinking here, Riffor Studios? So, the Grave Warden yes. might be scare me. Yes. As well. Seeing what they do, especially yes. with all my infantry, so they need to die. So the Kratos is going to forego having a go at the Typhon. But I lined him up for you and everything. Uh, it was very kind of you. Yeah. But, uh, I'm going to have to decline. Okay. <laughs> and uh, the rest, uh, and the plasma underneath you, might struggle to see. These guys. I've come around to pepper them as well. Okay. And the other side is uh, picking on the other remaining Leviathan. So uh, Grave Wardens and Leviathans are priority targets. Yes, because they're the combat and they're getting close to combat. To be fair, they're the only two real punchy things that I've got. Apart yeah. from that, it's lots of guns. I do have a lot of guns. There is. Okay, so let's start off the shooting phase. So we're going to start off the shooting phase with the Volkai one more time, pouring down as much fire as it can into the Grave Wardens. So 18 shots hit on threes. That's that's good shooting Tex. 15 hits hit on uh, wounded on two shots. Sorry. And not great on the wounding. I have 12 top saves. Last time I passed every single one. This time I fail one and they have a natural six up shrouding. I fail that and one was injured. He oh, falls over. Take a D flag. D flag, D flag one. continues to D flag, and I hey. fail that save, and I fail the shrouding as well. Okay, so one dies, one takes a wound. After the Volkite fight in, more heat is coming my way. Plasma, lots of plasma from the support squad. Plasma heat. Uh, Sergeant. Yes. Hits. He's uh, good. Guy with a scanner. Hits. And five other mooks. Okay. One gets hot. He doesn't die. He doesn't die. That's it's amazing. Four hits, and. Twos and fours. And, well, at least they don't get hot, right? There's three <laughs> ones. There's three ones, four up and vulnerable save, and I'm okay. Lots of plasma fire there, billowing into the chem clouds around the grave wardens, not touching them at all, but something that won't be dissipated will be all the shots from the Kratos rocking in at them, so they're definitely shrouding this. They're going to evade this. They're going to duck, cover, and roll. <laughs> okay. That's fair. So we're going to start off with the auto cannon. Yes. To try and drop the guard on the wound. Okay. So there's two hits and main guns twin linked. That's the most important thing. Oh, and two rendon. Two rends. Two rends. And I make one fail one, five up. Okay, you kill one of them, but that makes the main gun twin linked. So yeah, now that's coming in, hitting on freeze. Yes. But twin linked. Yes. Didn't help. And it's twos. Okay. That's three saves. I'll put them in the pot because we've got some last cannons coming in. Three of them three, hit. Three and hopefully three more. Yes, so a total of six. Six in total. This could sting. Four up, Terminator, Invulnerable. No, I dropped five of them. Shroud? You take out five. Ooh. So there's only three of them left. You said they look less scary now. Yes, and I just said to Winters, uh, I probably have summoned now. Yeah. Not earlier. Yeah. So yeah, 
Yeah. Eleven though. If you'd have waited just a turn <laughs> and then the demons went charging in now, yeah. it would have been absolutely brutal. It but been uh, there's a yeah, three of them left and my Praetor and my chaplain are looking somewhat exposed now. Then we moved around to the other flank where the auto cannon team, having just regrouped, snap fired in at my plasma team and no wounds were caused. All cover saves were made. I'm fine, I'm fine. Now you've got some interesting decisions down in this murder bucket here with yes. the Sabres and the Contemptor versus the Leviathan. Where do you want to start? The Contemptor's going to shoot his Laz Cannon. Okay, now I could return fire on that, but I'm thinking about returning fire on the Sabres. Yeah. Mainly, probably. So yeah, hit me. So we're hitting on twos. Both of them hit. And wounded on threes. One Four of them wounds. wounds, five of them bond. I fail that save. Uh, that one's dropped down to five wounds remaining. Now the Sabres are going to unload. Yes. So I'm definitely returning fire on this. Yeah. Uh, uh, so auto cannons first. Yes. Hitting on threes. Twin links. They for all hit. Two of them wound. It's not bad. And the rings. And I failed two saves as well. I'm down to three wounds remaining. And then the two multi-melters. Both, Both hit. hit. In melter range, right? Nice. So you can re-roll this. And uh, that is one, one wound. And I fell that save as well. It's down to two remaining. The electric turn fire. Starting off with the melter in the fist, which is not in armor bane range. That hits. And it's that glance. glances. And then the four that are in armor bane range. All four of them hit. Oh dear. <laughs> Eight plus two D6. And four's glance. Higher is a pen. Uh, so that doesn't do anything. First shot, nothing. Second shot, pens. Third shot. Pens, last shot, pens. So three penetrating hits, one glance. Okay. They have three whole points each. I'll do these one at a time, because if I blow up one, I might actually blow up the other. So the first one doesn't blow up and doesn't blow up. So the first one is just wrecked. wrecked. Second one oh, I knew it does <laughs> blow up and it blows up three inches. You could put it on yeah, this I'd one, to be fair. fair. So it wouldn't pin anyone. Yeah, so this one's a wreck. This one goes boom, boom. That was a nice return fire. And after that, the guns of the Sons of Horus fall silent as they rearm and reload. That's the end of the shooting phase, and there's no charges coming in there. And yes, you lost your Sabre Squadron, but my punch is suddenly looking very, very weak. That Leviathan Dreadnought's down to just two wounds remaining. And then round here, with the Grade Wardens and my Praetor, now do I split my Praetor away from that squad? Because... I can't survive that kind of shooting twice in a row. No. But we're about to go on to Death Guard turn three. Do they need to take a leadership test? They need to they... take a leadership test, yes. Uh, leadership Check. 10. We're good, we're good. Because, yes. I mean, it sucks when your uh, HQs fail their leadership test and fall back, don't they? Mm, Particularly if they're yes. in an auto cannon <laughs> team and you need them to stand still. Uh, last of my reserves comes in on three. My reserves come in on a three. We're going to Death Guard turn three. In the Death Guard movement phase, I have a unit of breaches staying very, very quiet over here, deep behind the Sons of Horus lines. And the last unit of breaches have walked on here, not this far up, close to the objective, but sticking close to the Scorpiuses over there, because there's intercepting shots coming in from the Master of Signals and the Auto Cannon team. And they have range of fire over here. So we're moving around, so the shells are just pinging harmlessly of our armor and then down in the gut in the middle well it's operation move forward i think this is what the death guard do the only steps back that were taken were my praetor he's broken free and has joined this unit of breaches now if i send my praetor up there because you annihilated so many grave warden terminators i don't think it'd be long for this world but what shouldn't be long for this world is your warlord your Issa Terrorist. You moved forward when I moved forward. You've got three Grave Warden Terminators. There's a Chaplain. There's a Leviathan. There's a Typhon. There's a lot of shots that are about to rain in yes. down that way. But by pushing hard round this way, I'm kind of giving up this for now. I do have some plasma. I do have some Scorpiuses that can rain down some firepower down there in a minute. But we'll see what I managed to start off with over here. I guess we have to start off with the Typhon. Putting it there is good because that will clip the Kratos as well. Thanks for reminding me. Great. <laughs> um, that's going to scatter that way four inches. It's um, going to only hit the Kratos. It. Let's box it. Let's do it again. Yes, that's a hit. So it's five in the Kratos. Five in the Kratos. This is into the Kratos. Um, 
With that's twelve. That's definitely a pen, even with a flare shield. Yeah, so add four, so sixteen. Yes, and the result of the penetrating oh, hit is an nice. immobilized result on the. That's that's a win. That's a win at least, mind you. It's got so many guns. Um, and then the big boom down into the squad. How many did I hit? Five. Five, yeah. Five of them. A strength twelve. AP three. Fours rend. That completely nukes four of them, and the last cannons come in and hit twice and wound twice, and you got six ups against this, and two more get taken out. Now we're on to the Grave Wardens trying to kill the Warlord. Uh, they have their Death Cloud projectors, two of them can hit for three hits, plus their grenade launchers. But first, here's the crack grenades on threes, then adding three from the Death Cloud projector because this is all poisoned and all wounds. On threes. So for one dice, three more. Just one. one. Okay. No, just one. Just one. Just one. So there's three left with the Esoterrorist. Um that'll be a fine charge. What I mean this is the, the there's the Leviathan. The Leviathan. I could shoot at the Kratos, but it's side armor fourteen and it's already immobilized. <sighs> I mean there's a chance of killing the Kratos, but the warlord's right there. I'm shooting everything at your warlord. Everything at the Warlord. Are we reacting? No, I've decided they're probably dead. So I'll save it for something more useful. Courage and honour, brother. Courage and honour. This will be fine. Uh, this is all the Melter coming in hot. All the Melter will wound on twos. I get three wounds through. Interestingly, he's got three buddies with him. So and two of them are in cover. So two six-up saves. No. So it's just your Esoterra stood there. And probably gets two hit from Flamers. Um, oh yeah, he's got the flamers, the flamers and the thing. Um, they are gets hot special death guard flamers, which are good. No gets hot, and the alchem flamers actually wound on a two. Two wins, two two up saves. Two ups. Oh, he drops a wound. So he's injured, stood there, ready to take take a charge from some grave warden terminators and from the leviathan. And you've been forgetting his warlord trait thing. I have. Where you can roll a, you could do it now if you want to, but if you roll a one, he's dead. Yeah. Do you want to do it now? Well, I, I feel it's only fair because it's probably what he should do. Okay. Because then he might Pray be already dead. to the dark gods. That's yes. a four. He gets an extra toughness. Yes. He gets an extra. Gets him up to toughness five, which won't protect him from a strength ten Leviathan fist, but might protect him from uh, the strength ten. Minus one strength. Oh yeah. Strength, it, will. it might protect him. He might live. I might fail the charge as well. Uh, so that's Operation Kill the Warlord is still in effect. We'll get back to that. Um, what are we doing with all the plasma? Oh yes, this squad here I lined up in a nice conga line because you keep shooting at me with your Volkite. So I want to <laughs> shoot your Volkite back again. Uh, we're getting hot on the Sarge, getting hot on the others, and then three up saves on them. So two of them are not firing, and the first shot is going to hit, and the second shot is going to re-roll because of the Vox. Two of them hit, and I'm winning on twos, fours breach. So we got the five breaching our five up covers in the building. You say three of them. Three, not too bad. And one, three up. Which dies. Okay, I'm gonna take three of them out. I haven't reacted yet. Not yet. Because I was hoping you would, because this plasma team really wants to kill your auto cannon team. Yeah. You, you're, gonna, <laughs> you're gonna shroud this, not return fire. Uh, no. You're gonna return fire. <laughs> yeah. Gets up on the Sarge. He has a two-up save. He's fine. Two times now. I know. Gets up on the Vox. I keep forgetting to do that. He's fine. And the other three guys. Okay. At least all the guns are shooting, except for the sergeants. Did a bunch of scattering off camera in the end. Nine hits come through, which wounds on twos and fours breach. We got three normal arm saves. You're good. They're good. And three, five, uh, four, five up, sorry. Three guys die. But 12 returning under fire. Hit on threes. Yes. We've got nine hits. Nice. And wounded on two. Sixes yes. are lovely. There's three sixes. So those are three five ups. You take out three of them. Then five more. So a three up, three up, and then we're on Artificer. So just the sergeant left on. Uh, you kill the squad. So you lost three guys. I lost my entire squad. Yeah. What have we learned? We've established that auto cannons are better than plasma. It's the new meta. <laughs> Everyone who plays Heresy, start getting your auto I like auto cannons. They're so cool. Imperial Fist, they're even cooler. Um, Scorpius is, Scorpii. I feel like I haven't had a go on any of your troops recently. So, and this squad are getting danger close. So let's drop some Scorpius's down on this squad here. Can anyone see them? 
Yes, so we'll fire up and over. We're dropping it there. I, they do have direct line of sight to that guy, which is why I'm dropping it there. Uh, which means I can reroll this because there's Nuncio boxes everywhere. Um, one minute. I'm not sure Nuncio boxes. No. Can't see. That was a scatter. So two inches backwards. Yes. Then the next shot. That's a hit. That hits the Contemptor twice and injures it once, but he gets a full armour. Two up. Oh, typical. Brilliant. He does swoon these down to three remaining. And then six hit the squad. Yes. And only one breaches Rens. Those are full armour. So the full armour. Yes. Threes. You're okay. And then I will take uh, on one of the guys in the crate off. Yes. Oh, and fine. The rocket barrage rains down around them, and I feel like the Contempt of Dreadnought stepped in front of it. Yeah, he's, he's shielding them, didn't he? Took the hit. It's dropped down to three wounds remaining. Then we're going to chuck some rapier batteries up and over into the same target. And I fire the rapier batteries and they completely missed. Even with some rerolls and things. So that is the end of my shooting phase. There is a leadership test on your master of signals one more time, sir. Yes, and it will be on the Volkite because they're low in numbers. Yes. They're okay. He holds. Time. And the Volkite team up here in the building, surely they hold. Uh, it's a leadership eight for those. They, they hold. hold. Okay. Oh, and these, oh, are, and terrorists. these are terrorists as well. Is he going to be brave? <laughs> it's going to run, isn't he? He needs to run. Oh, I know he's fine. He doesn't run. He stands there like a boss, and my Leviathan Dreadnought will try and charge him. I will overwatch. You're going to overwatch? Yeah. Have you got some psychic shenanigans? He's got, he's got like a D flag thing, a strength five, so brilliant chance. But okay. he has to lead a psychic. psychic check, otherwise, he might just kill himself, which he doesn't. Okay. So. 12 shots? Yeah. 12 shots? What, which Men. power is this? Uh, void darts, I think it's called. Right, okay. Darts of the void. So he's hitting on twos. Yes. And that hits. is 11 hits, right? And it's strength five, so it's going to be sixes. That's two. two. Right, if I roll snake eyes, you kill my Leviathan Dreadnought when I charge with yes. psychic magicery, magicery. You don't it kill doesn't. him, he's fine. And I need that for the charge. I'm going to get two new dice. I'm not sure how far away I am. I but nine enough. looks good to me. Chonk, he makes the charge. The Grave Wardens will try and use that movement as well to get in there, and instead they end up surging three. So, we have our first fight of this Crucible of Death. The Leviathan Dreadnought slams into the Esoterist and with Hammer of Wrath, wound him twice. Two, two up Two ups. He doesn't get run over. He can actually fight. He's got a higher initiative. He'll strike first. Yeah. So first up, he tries to channel the Psychic Energy through his stave. Yeah. Leadership test. Stuff it up to strength nine. Yes. And, and he fails. So no matter what I roll. Yes. Uh, in fact, no, because he gets... You get invulnerable saves. Yes. So one, one five. Perils and... Ah. No, <laughs> and instead his brain explodes. He doesn't make the invulnerable save. Too many void darts. He gets cut down. And the Leviathan trudges contemptuously forward. And that is Slay the Warlord for the Sons of Horus. They're calling out over the Vox for these Sky Hunters to come in from Deep Strike. They need them. Do they come in on turn in. three? Three up. Yes. They do come in in turn three. We're going to have some orbital redeployment here. Maybe sniping out the Typhon. Maybe taking some shots into these last few Grave Warden as we go into Sons of Horus turn three. Here we are after the Sons of Horus movement phase before the Deep Strike. There is an objective over here, which this squad are running down to cover while the Auto Cannon team provide fire support from up above. And the Contempt of Dreadnought... And the team over here that were going after the Leviathan, well, there's a big open city street there. They had a decision to make to continue the press. Yes. Or to turn around. I've turned around for now. Turned around for now. <laughs> Just to get rid of some Volkite. It's a six turn game. So there is a Volkite team down here, which I put, I mean, I knew they were out on a limb over here, surrounded by all these Sons of Horus, but you have to do something about them. They are a line unit. They are a scoring unit. So there's two teams heading straight down towards them. Round this side, obviously the Kratos is uh, immobilised. But the plasma team underneath, well, they've got some nice juicy line of fire through the window. You've got the Volkite team up above. There's a team, another team of tacticals round the back as well. Yep. And then finally, you want a deep strike in here. We're going... High risk, high reward. High risk, high reward. Well, good luck. <laughs> so we, we really want to hit here. And we do. That's a hit. They land perfectly. They may be delayed, but the Sons of Horus excel at the deep strike assault. 
and you lined up the bikes perfectly so I actually can't see you. There's a big crate in the way. I'm not intercepting them. No intercept. And there's three shots into the rear of the Typhon. Yeah, so we've done the high risk. Let's yes. see if the reward pays off. Right. So hit on freeze. We are twin linked. We are twin linked. That's all free. Right, okay. No, rear armour of a Typhon is 13. 13 right, so yeah. we're looking for five or more. So that's a pen. Yeah. That's a nothing. That's two pens. Two penetrating hits. One five up would be nice. And there that's a dead Typhon, which is going to go boom. And it only blows up one inch. It doesn't hurt anyone around. With the Sky Hunters doing what Sky Hunters do, hunting their target perfectly, this leaves the Kratos free to fire. What are we firing up with Kratos? You've got lots of targets here. So, because it's mobilized, I can't really pick what I want. Yes. Entirely. Yes. We're going to make this the main target. I'll right. I'll see F and this I can see. Yeah. Because this I can't, they get the split fire rule and then the Grave Ward and the pose nicely in front of them. So I can react. And what you're saying is you're shooting at Levath and Dreadnought at point blank range that can return fire. That's what you're saying. I think I'm returning fire. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this is mutually assured destruction. So It is that. Because I think uh, the plasma won't do it. So I think you'll do it in your turn anyway. And yeah. I can't react with that. So you yeah. can't make the play now. You've got to make the play. All right. Starting off with. Also cannons are always. Into Levathan. Yes. One of them hits. One of them hits. So top gun's twin linked. Doesn't do anything. Right. But we are twin linked. That's what we're, we're happy about. So three. Three of them hit. Force to wound. Fours with a reroll. We a have three. three wounds into Mr. Leviathan Dreadnought with a five up in vulnerable saves and it's dead. Before you put any more last cannons into it. How far does he boom? He booms two inches. It'll, oh. it'll hit the Kratos and uh, take a hull point off the Kratos. Two last cannons into the Grave Wardens then. Perfect. Uh, yes, two to wound. Two wounds. Four up in buns. With Today. six up shrouding that they have naturally. Two of them are dead. There's just the chaplain left with one Grave Warden Terminator. And in the gunfight, in the middle, the Leviathan Dreadnought, peppered by the Melter, peppered from the last cannon, as he falls backwards, turns around and returns fire and hits the Kratos four times. Now we've got to pen that Kratos. And the first one's a pen. Second one. Pen. Third one. Pen. Last one. Pen. That's four penetrating hits on the Kratos. Dead, definitely dead. And it That's definitely fine. goes blow up. Uh, how far is that one? Defin five. Oh. Five inches. Definitely goes blow up. So That's the sentence now. Three of your guys. Three of your guys are wounded on twos. Two of them are wounded. And two, two of them, them die, die in the explosion. Oh, and they're pinned. pinned as well. Explosions, damage, mass casualties, uh, the Warlord's gone, this unit is gone, the Kratos is gone, the Leviathans are gone. All that's left of my punch now is a chaplain uh, <laughs> and a lone Grave Warden Terminator looking over his shoulder wondering where all of his friends have gone. This side of the battle grid has been absolutely brutal. I guess that's what happens when you put a Typhon and a Kratos staring at each other. Yeah, they want to kill each other, right? Yeah, so and they did. Happen. It did. Right. Uh, we've got a lot more shots, though, coming in on the other flank. One minute. Before we did that, we fired all the Bolter team in here at the Grave Warden Terminator and my chaplain, our old Snake Eyes. I've lost the Grave Warden Terminator. <laughs> Now we're doing the plasma team, and because it gets hot, we've got to do one at a time. So this is what it looks like on the first shot. So sergeant. Yes. Basically, you don't want to roll any ones. Uh, Aubrey scanner. Yes. And then a normal chap. A normal chap. Right. And then three other dudes. Okay. So no gets hot. So no gets hot whatsoever. And you're winning my chaplain on two. Twos. Fours and nasty. That is four, four nasty breach ones. And five normal. So the four nasty ones. He's still alive on one wound. And how many normal ones? Five. Five. Five two-up saves to be a boss. <sighs> He's not a boss. Second in command gets taken out. You're killing lots of stuff. And now you've got the Volkite. And the Volkite are looking at my plasma. They are only snap firing. They are only snap fire. I feel like I have to return fire. Like With my second reaction in the shooting phase, I feel like I need to kill something back again. That probably is fair. Okay. Yeah, make it fair. So right. I'll, I'll shoot first. Yes. You get, get a hit. One hit. Right. It's going to kill two guys with D-Flag, you watch. Uh, that's one. And I make the save. <laughs> it, it doesn't It doesn't kill two guys. Let's do some getting hotting on the Sarge and on the other guys. Okay. Three is on these. So one of the guy dies. Two on that. 
He's okay. So I've just got three plasma left. Then I roll to hit. Managed to get six hits through. Two's wound. Four's breach. Oh. And that is six breaching hits on your Volkite team. That's because all those got hot. That's why they all breached. Ow. So they die. Interestingly, at the end of the shooting phase, because they suffer 25% casualties, they're going to have to take a leadership test. Yeah. So they're not going to get shot at by anything else. So let's just cover that up now, because we'll definitely forget later. And they hold, we hold. The sergeant's not dead yet. Right, back to the auto cannon team. We've got three dudes left. Yep. And you're firing all the way through all these ruins and things down to the Scorpii down here. Yeah. But one of them can't see. No. So it's just two of them. So two in range. The master signal's going to whisper in their ear to hit better. Which works. That's good. They hit on twos. That's very good. And six is two glance. Negative. Which is not so good. Then to round out this brutal shooting attack, we came over here where the Sons of Horus and the Contempt of Dreadnought were threading the needle through this ruin into the Breacher Squad. You wiped out two of them. Not enough for a leadership test. Not quite. But you're definitely charging now. Yes. It's going to be five for the Contemptor. I will overwatch the Contemptor. Yep. But five because of cover and things. Uh, so does he make it? That's no. a four. In fact, he only surges two inches. Yeah. And how far away for the squad beyond? They were a nine. They were a nine with cover and things. And, and they, they make the it. charge. <laughs> right, here we are after the charge. Didn't put any wounds on the Dreadnought. And again, it's below. That's where it ended up the surge. And now we have a Despoiler team versus Breacher team. All the combats are going to happen at the same time. Yep. You've got a bunch of chainsaws on your despoilers. So they're going to strike initiative four, yep. uh, hitting on fours. So we've got eight hits. Uh, we're weaned in on fours, but with a nice little bit of shred. Shredded wheat. I do like a nice bit of shredded wheat. Yeah, seven. Not bad. Seven. Three up saves. I lose four dudes. At the same time, I fight you. And the Death Guy hit back on fours. And with rag grenades, we're wounding... On fours, that is a wound. I will take no wounds. Take no wounds. And then there's two paraxes and a fist in there as well. There's three paraxes. Three paraxes. Nice. So there's nine parax attacks. Okay. On fours, which but, they hit very well. That's good. That's good. And this could be threes to wounds. Only two, but you get your five up breach. Lock shields together. I block the shields <laughs> together. No further wounds. And then the sergeant. He actually hits with his fist. F so many times they miss. And F of into wounds. Okay, uh, I need to do another one. Sergeant kills two on his own. So I lost six in six. total. And with the back silly, you lose by seven. I need snake eyes. I don't get snake eyes. Initiative roll off. And uh, I do manage to fall back successfully 2d6 inches. Very close to the board edge. That's probably too close to the board edge. We need to measure. No, we fell back off the battle grid and that was a very good riposte by the Sons of Horus at the end of turn three. All of a sudden, my entire footprint for my entire army is just here. Yes. I've been nailing the traitors for turn after turn after turn. Yeah, the Sons of Horus are in trouble, but true Sons of Horus grit. Grit. They pulled themselves back. <laughs> and demons. Demons <laughs> that you brought to the party as well. So there's a massive gap between these two forces now. Yes. And there's a few objectives down here that we want to stand on. There's a few objectives over here that you're definitely going to be standing on. And I'm basically down to firing blast markers in from hell to try and push the Sons of Horus back to try and suppress them. Meanwhile, they've still got that contempt to Dreadnought. They've still got lots of infantry all over the place. And more importantly, they've got a couple of Sky Hunters in the backfield. And as soon as I move, they're going to probably initiative <laughs> run move away. I need to go away and think now, because we're going to Death Guard turn four. So it's a six turn game and the Death Guard can't run. So there's no way I'm getting to any of those objectives down there for those sweet extra points in this War of Lies. But I can do something about these two objectives over here, so long as I get rid of the Sky Hunters. So the Praetor last turn attached to this Breacher Squad, and he stepped out through the ruin with the Breacher Squad one more time, and they naturally reacted. They know his name. They know he's a loyalist. He's a friend of Brother Captain Nathaniel Garrow. <laughs> They've heard of this Death Guard fella. His name is Kevin. Uh, Operation Kill the Sky Hunters is in effect. Let's just shoot them with all the things. Starting off with the Plasma Squad. I'm shooting all the plasma down. Um, I'll the... shoot back and try and kill that Plasma Brilliant. Squad. Okay, so this is Gets Hot on the Sarge and on the other guys. 
at least everything will shoot this time. First shot, that's definitely a re-roll. Uh, the first shot is going to scatter two inches, clip one of them. The next shot is a hit, and the last shot is a hit. Seven hits, flash in, and that'll kill one bike, that'll kill another bike, and you've got three three-up saves to make. It kills all three. It kills all the bikes, but the bikes return fire. Can they kill? The th yes, they can hit all the times. They can wound all the times, and that's mutually assured destruction as these two units wipe each other out. I like to think that my Praetor did it. He was directing traffic from the plasma and the things and over here and da -da, and he stood in the wreckage of the burning Typhon. Kevin said. Kevin said, <laughs> shoot this way. This does leave some mortar fire and some Scorpius fire that can come up and over. And you've got Vexillas on all these squads, this squad, this squad, and this squad. Yeah. Well, uh, this one isn't in the open. So if I can see, I'm gonna fire down here. I can't see them. Someone blew up a saber in the way. <laughs> so this is going to scatter the full distance. That's going to be a big 12. It lands there. So even a flip with the second volley is going to miss. So the Scorpius is completely with this turn. So let's put the blast marker in the same place for the rapiers and do it again. And that goes that way seven. This might actually hit someone this time. It does hit three and then that will miss. So three in total. Um, wounding on threes with a bit of shred, and that is three wounds, three full armor saves. One, Drop uh, dice don't count. Got okay. no pain for thingy, which wow. comes into effect. Heart of Legion actually kicked off there. So at the end of my shooting phase, at the end of turn four, I killed some bikes, that's it. <laughs> uh, the Death Guard have got the long range firepower and have secured their backfield objective. You've got some very short range firepower, with the exception of the last cannon on that thing yeah. and the auto cannons on this thing. But we have established that you need to hit. Well, yeah, I do need to hit you with my stuff for it to actually <laughs> wound. So will this turn into a long-range slagging match with the remaining guns that we have? Or are the Sons and Horus actually going to break and try and push some more pressure down in the Death Guard lines in turn four? So in the Sons of Horus movement phase, while these two tactical squads that bunker down on these two objectives here, assuming combat spread formation because of all the ordnance raining in from the sky... This second squad, this despoiler squad, has come busting through the ruin behind the Contempt of Dreadnought, either looking at the central objective below the statue for later game turns, or to get some firepower down in at the Scorpiuses. And talk about firepower, you've still got a plasma team. Yeah, there's still quite a few number in there as well. So. Yeah, and they've come busting through this ruin. They're now out in the open. They're aiming at my breaches and the Praetor. So we're shrouding this. Here's the plasma fire. Uh, Sergeant, uh, Aubrey Scanner. Oh, does he die? He does not. He does not. And five other chaps. That's good shooting. Six shots come through. Twos. So we've got three breach, three normal. Three normal and three breach. And then with a shroud, and you take out two of them. So two in the breacher squad are wiped out, but there's still a big squad of 10 there, so they won't have to take any leadership test. Then we've got uh, some firepower, long range firepower coming from the auto cannon teams and the Contempt of Dreadnought into the Scorpius. Starting off with the auto cannon team, however. Hitting on twos with the four chaps. Nice. And then we're looking for sixes again. No sixes. No. Now the last cannons. Two hits. And I'm shrouding this, the second shot, yeah. Yeah, so uh, looking for fours with Sunder. Okay. Uh, and then you can I'm gonna be greedy. I'm going to be greedy. No, it stays the same. So a glance of a pen. And you rolled a five on the thing. You got a glance with uh, one of the auto cannons as well. So glance or the auto cannon. Uh, don't save it. Uh, it's not a glance. Because no? you're... Uh, Strength seven from number 13. You get sixes, you oh, yeah. It didn't do anything. Okay, so we're just doing these. So uh, glance and a pen. Six up cover save on the glance. Six up cover save on the pen. And then the shroud. You just take a whole point off a of Scorpius. And with that, this Guns of the Sons of Horus fall silent. That's the end of their turn. That is the end of turn four. Thinking about turns five and six now. Swarming round onto these objectives. These dividing lines are now clear. So I need to lock down my home objective. Last time it was Operation Kill the Sky Hunters. This time it's Operation Kill that Plasma team. Moving round here with Scorpius's eye. Uh, neither of them got immobilized coming around this way so some of those big guns can no longer see me 
We're going to start off with the Volkite Chargers though from this team. Two of them are not in range. Shooting at the Plasma team, they are going to return fire on this. And we wound on threes, and that is only four wounds. So we have got no wounds taken. You make every single save. And Returning fire is going to hurt. You're not in well, rapid fire. Nothing got nothing hot. Got hot Everything hit. <laughs> Beautiful. Didn't do that simply, sorry. And Twos to wound. Twos. Two breach and three normal. Okay, three normal on threes. And then two breaching. I lose three in total. Fortunately, you don't have to take morale test to uh, reactions. Nice. Then we're going to fire the Scorpius as is in. And I can see, and I have got Nuncios everywhere, and if I put it there, I'm going to be getting five of them. And that's going to scatter two inches that way. And that hits three of them, and then the second shot. Yeah, we'll go that way. And I only hit four in total. Uh, and I don't even breach any of them. They're full armor saves. All full armor saves. So perhaps one does die. Does he get pinned? No, no, definitely not. Most people have been passing morale. It's crazy the number of... Normally there's a lot more morale failing going on. <laughs> Everyone's quite brave today. It's just not like high yeah. roll, uh, rolling high enough. So that's only one of them. So I guess the rapier team are uh, threading the needle and firing at the same target. That's going to scatter four inches. So I'll re-roll with a Nuncio Vox and then that hits and the second shot will flip. That hits five of them. Wounding on threes with Shred. That's four more wounds on your Plasma team. And they Nothing. take all the saves. Only one casualty taken. Only one casualty. At the end of Death Guard turn five. They're supposed to be all dead. This could be a problem as we're going to Sons of Horus turn five. So here we are in the backfield for the Sons of Horus, still spread out over their objectives. This squad, which cleared away the breaches, are making a run for the central objective. Along with the Contempt of Dreadnought, it's not going to be shooting this turn. This game goes on to turn six. If there's any left in my breacher squad, there's a long bomb charge and a potential hero moment from the Contempt of Dreadnought at the end of the game. Potentially. Potentially. <laughs> So the Plasma team are also being heroes. They've stepped forward into rapid fire range. Makes and we're going to have many shots coming into the Breachers. And then the Auto Cannon team there are free to fire. Probably down into this Breacher team as well. But we're going to start off with a tactical support squad with all the Plasma. Would you like to react? I'm definitely shrouding. Do I want to return fire? Do you want to live and score? Or... I want to return. I want to shroud. Okay. I want to shroud this. <laughs> oh, yes. So the, I'll just do the sergeant and the okay. scanner sergeant. on camera, which is the only one that anyone cares about. No getting hot there. Then we did all the gets hots, and one of the fellas died. You've got five left. Yeah, we've got eight hits. Yes. Uh, we're wounded on twos. Yes. Fours are good. Not okay. two or four, so okay. three okay. breaching and four normal. So four normal one and three breaching ones. The four breaching ones. This game is on a knife edge, right? It is. We have no idea who's winning. No. So... I think it's time my Praetor step forward. He's ordered <laughs> the return fire in the middle. There's plasma shots. He's told them to get down. He's stepping forward. Fire at me, you horse ones. And he's going to tank the breaching ones on his cataphracty plate. And, and he tanks well. every <laughs> single save. The four little ones, though, guys behind are going to catch some strays. <laughs> <laughs> on threes with a shroud. And one of them falls over. Behind the support squad with a the plasma, there are five bolters threading the needle all the way through into my Praetor's unit. Good luck. Then I'll freeze. Yeah. And fours. For one. There's a wound and it clips my Praetor and he fails his save and takes a wound. And then the last thing left to fire is six auto cannons are going to be raining hate down into the breaches on my home field objective from the other side of the battle grid. Shrouding this as well. I've still got two shrouding reactions. I need them alive. Uh, choose to hit. Actually, I can't shroud because you've got a Cognis Signum. Ah, yes, well remembered. Yeah. So they all can't hit. Do anything, then. Yeah, I'm just taking it like a champ, like a Death Guard. Uh, just nothing five normal. Five normal. Five threat saves. I got this. Except for the two that haven't got this. <laughs> and curiously enough, that's the end of the shooting phase, and there's no charges and no morale to take. So with this game balanced on a knife edge. We're going on to Death Guard, turn six. So this is what heroes are made of. It's time for my Praetor to be a G. He's broken free from the Breacher team, 
I'm going to go charging into that plasma team. Or the Dreadnought, depending on who's still alive. The Dreadnought has answered his call to battle yeah. and come forward. The Dreadnought's seen Kevin. He's <laughs> taken a few steps forward. Yeah, I'm going to have you. Oh, uh, dear. Uh, I need to kill that plasma team. Otherwise, you're just going to move forward and stop me scoring this anyway. Yeah. You'll just deny this. So I have to kill the plasma team. Also move around this squad here so they can fire in all their bolt guns as well. So we'll start off with them. The plasma team are too fixed on the Praetor to react to this, which hits them on threes, and that's good shooting, but can I wound with the humble bolter? I can wound three times. Uh, three ups. And I take oh. one of them down. I take one of them down. Then, danger close. We're going to fire some Scorpius barrage stuff up and over, probably putting it on his head. <laughs> yeah. What's the worst that could happen? This will be fine. This will be absolutely fine. That's a hit. a hit. That's a hit. That's a hit. Now and then this flip. one oh, is going to so tip my Praetor. And a couple so more. Yeah, so five on me. Five on you, me. One on me. Um, okay, the five on you. The five on you. Were you shrouding this or doing um, anything? I was, but we got too carried away. Yes, so, so you are shrouding. Yeah. Okay, so that is two rending and three normal. So three normal. You're good. There's uh, intervening stuff for the rending, so sixes. Uh, barrage ignores. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. So, so it's, it's just shrouding. Ups. So one dies. Do okay. they become pinned? Yes. They and do. they're pinned, and they're pinned. That's big, that's big. Uh, and then one hit on my Praetor, you can roll for it. I'm so not, I want I'm, a four up, right? You do. <laughs> there it is. Okay. So what you're saying is, one of the ricochets from the thing, the Danger Close Barrage, smashed into my Praetor as well. Yeah. And on a one, two, three on the save, he's dead. Yes. Um, by your own hand. By my own hand. Maybe no one really likes Kevin. <laughs> he's alive. We love Kevin. He knows Nathaniel Garrow. He's a boss. Right, because they're pinned, I don't need to shoot them anymore. They're stuck there. So we've got these breaches. They'll shoot at your Contempt of Dreadnought. Try and slow it down a little bit. And I'm going to need fives to wound the Contempt of Dreadnought. That's still sixes. Sixes, sorry. I don't wound the Contempt of Dreadnought. I've got this fire from the Rapiers. Potentially I could make someone break. Best chances of the spoilers. This squad here. Let's fire at them. And someone blew up a tank in the way. I can't see them for the re-rolls and things. So it's going that way. Ten. Oh, it might hit them. Balls. Hits three in the other squad. And then I can put that on the other squad, hitting lots. And fragmentation rounds rain down on eight of them and they shred as they explode and split apart, causing six wounds. Can the armor hold firm on threes? Three ups. Yes, it can, except for one guy but who falls over. Heart of the Legion. Doesn't come in. He does, he does, he got, does get taken out, but that's not enough to cause a leadership no. test or anything like that. Um, shooting thing. See, um, I mean... The Praetor could charge that Contempt of Dreadnought. I've got higher initiative, and he's it got a Paragon take Blade. Does cannons to the face on the way in. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't charge. Take, maybe he'll shoot, shoot, yeah. he'll shoot. He'll shoot the Pin <laughs> Squad. We'll shoot the Pin Squad. I hit you once with a Volkite Serpenta. I wound once against the Volkite Serpenta. Kill one, I do flag. kill one with the Flagger Eight. It continues to burn, and yeah. doesn't kill the second one. And then my Praetor goes for the charge. He makes the charge and you've... They do have to do a leadership. Yeah. In case they run beforehand, which they do not. Nope. So he's in. Then the Praetor strikes out on threes. And this Paragon Blade will kill them on threes. And they're gone. And there was no point in taking a step back. We just step forward, block the path from the Contempt of Dreadnought. Holding on to the uh, objective back here for the Breachers. While they're billy, busy mining up this road with claymores and trip mines and things like that. The Issa Terrace, the warlord for the Sons of Horus, well, he fell as a casualty some time ago. But will my Praetor fall? Or Kevin hang in there like a G? His name isn't Kevin, but he's not. Don't let that stick. <laughs> Someone come like up he with, should be Kevin. It's not. Now. He, Kevin, Nathaniel, Garrett. Anyway, we're going on to Sons of Horus, turn six. At the end of the Sons of Horus movement phase, they're locking down this entry into the ruins here. And that one, and that one. They're on three objectives, I'm on two. We've had a good look. The autocannon team can't see anything anymore. They're out of the fight. They're done. But this team has stepped forward the ruin. 
through the ruin a little bit on this side. Some of them have got shots into the breaches. Of course, the Contempt of Dreadnought is looking straight at my Praetor as well. There's a chance here for Warlord and there's a chance to make these breaches break yes. and run away. So they're going to use the superior range of the Bolter over the Volkite Charger. Nice. To not be return fired. Which okay. Leaves you with one choice. I'm shrouding. I'm yes. tra We're ducking and covering. They're busy setting traps and things. They're like a full <laughs> duck. So we've got eight guys in range. And we hit five times. Nice. And we wound three times. Okay, if I lose one... I could fail morale and run. It gets sweaty. It'd be very embarrassing. Three up saves. That one's really cocked. Okay, and then a five up shroud. I make the saves. I get. I make the saves. So next up, we have Contemptor. We have the Despoilers. Yeah. There's a few pistols so with the Despoilers in range. Sure Did they? Range. So it's just the Contemptor. Just the Contemptor. So I'm shrouding this with my second thing. He's ducking, he's weaving, he's yeah. dodging two last cannons. One of them hits. Oh, and it doesn't no. wound. See, the ducking and weaving and the dodging did it. He will bolt run just for fun. Okay. For One wound. bolt. Ugh, it's Terminator plate. I'll be fine. I'm fine. That is the end of the shooting phase. And then I will charge you. You charge. I will make you disordered. Yeah. I will not fail a leadership test and fall back. He oh, fails a leadership oh. test. And he falls back. And if you catch him when he's falling back... That's sweeping the warlord. Yes. Well, he will count as dead now anyway. He counts he won't as be able to regroup. He counts as dead, game. but you don't get to slay the warlord. No. No. I need a long run for this, because if I only get a one or two, you could catch me and kill me. Yeah, I got plus one. So. I know. There's a one. That's ah. a snake eyes. He ends up going there. So if I roll a double one, I'm still just uh, going away, right? Well. That's enough. That's enough. You shot him. He tried to brace. You catch him as he runs. And he automatically fails the leadership test. And that is slay the warlord. And that is the end of this battle with my warlord. Ignomiously. What's the word? Ran down by the contempt of Dreadnought right at the end. Yes. What happened there? Um, we need to add up some things now. Yes. Find out how many points each of us have got. Hi, Sean. Hello. How many things did I kill? Quite a lot. Nine. Nine. With Warlord, ten? Ten with Warlord. Guess how many things you killed? Nine. nine. Oh, really? You killed nine. And, and then with Warlord Lord. and Price of Failure for bringing the Typhon. Oh, yes, that's eleven. Eleven to ten. You're winning by a point. Yes. And you're on three objectives which could be worth zero points. Yeah. And this one could be worth zero, one or three. So what I'm saying is there's still so a chance. Got two, I got this one, I got this one. So I'll roll one, because <laughs> okay. there's only one point in it. Let's roll for this one first. I need a five or six. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it's 11 points each. That's Nine worth one point. Each. And then you can roll for one of yours. So that's it's 12, 11. 12, 11. There's still one point in it. Should I roll? Over here. You roll? Well, because if I get high. Okay. If I get high. Big five. 12, 11. Big five coming up. No, it's 12-12. 12, 12. 12, 12. Now, so interestingly, you if you roll a 1-2, one, 1-2 two, one, two there, it's a draw. <laughs> so, first one. First one. It's a point. That's... You get a point, And the second one is another point. You so win by I two take. points. 14 to 12? Yeah. That's how close War of Lies can be. That's how close Games of War of Heresy could be. There was still a chance for a win, loss, draw, and all the things. My Praetor breaking and fleeing at the end. Is slightly embarrassing. No one say anything in the comment section. That's fine. Kevin is definitely, he's fine. He didn't got rumped down by, that was glorious. This is the way the world ends. How was it for you, honey? It was brilliant. It was a very swingy game back and forth. Uh, yeah, very good. Yeah, your Sons of Horus, is this a new collection for you? Yeah, quite recent, yeah, in the last six months, I'd say. Which, are your, which is your favorite since you play so much heresy? Which one are you? Uh, Sons of Horus. Why? Why Sons of Horus? Um, well, if anyone's read the first three books, yes. they'll understand why. With all the, the lore and the emotion uh, portrayed in there with the Sons of Horus. Yeah. You can't help but fall in love with them. I mean, yeah. That's one of the... I mean, that's the only answer I need. <laughs> Garvey or Loken, sole targets, being G's on the battlefields of his found three. Yeah. Holding off all the traitors and things. For anyone who hasn't read the Horus Heresy, I just recommend just read the first trilogy. Read the first three books. They're definitely, definitely worth it. 
how the Empire could have been before the fall. But in the end, the traitors have pushed the Loyalist Death Guard off this battle grid. It is a victory. 14 points to 12. Don't forget to check out Rift Forge Studios on the YouTubes. And what was the Facebook thing again for the events? For attrition gaming. So you'll see all our terrain on there. They provide it for the uh, for the, our games. Yes. And their um, Horse Heresy events in Southampton. Just search attrition gaming. They'll pop up. And they're definitely worth going. I go there quite often. Yeah. How many times a year? Uh, probably four or five. Whoa. They that's do, do quite... they pack in some events. You said do do. Oh. <laughs> saying, right? anyway uh attrition i might have to go to one of them at some point uh i hope you enjoyed that battle report p work games for this urban maps for that march uk for all of these and den of imagination painting my death guard absolutely glorious we do hope you enjoyed that battle report happy wargaming